Jesus, our heavenly father, according to your word in Proverbs 26, 2, like a flattering sparrow or a flying swallow, an undeserved curse will not come home to roost. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever is allowing curses to land on our families, on our communities, on our neighborhoods, on our nations, father, all over the world, whatever is allowing curses of death, curses of murder, curses of premature death, curses, oh God, of life change changing issues, uh, trauma, Lord, uh, whatever is causing pain to families. Uh, there are parents right now getting ready to bury their 15 year olds. Uh, there are parents right now in a hospital doing a vigil with a 14 year old uh, who left home healthy yesterday and now is in ICU and now has life changing injuries. Father, we are pleading the blood of Jesus. We are pleading the blood of Jesus. Uh, whatever allows the enemy to steal, to kill and destroy. Uh, we are pleading the blood uh, and silencing, oh God. Uh, whatever opens the door to the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, you said uh, in John 10, 10, uh, you have come that we might have life and life in abundance. Uh, Lord, anything that opens the door for the thief to steal or kill or destroy in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our nations, uh, we shut it down by the blood of Jesus. Uh, we shut down evil altars. Uh, we shut down evil gatherings. Uh, we shut down oh God, uh, evil spiritism Lord, uh, evil things that have been going on. We shut it down by the blood of Jesus and we release your blessing over the land. Uh, we release your blessing over every family. We release your blessing oh God uh, over our generation in the name of Jesus. Uh, let your blessing veto the curses father and let these curses be unable to land uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, let the blood of Jesus uh, be a wall that prevents curses from landing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless you because you are able, oh God. Thank you for your blessing. Every bereaved family, oh God, you will strengthen them. Satan will not use the grief and the bereavement uh, to bring more problems. In the name of Jesus, uh, we seal the doors of people's hearts uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, arrows of wickedness will not be able to land. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, uh, Father, Lord, let's begin to pray over our roads, uh, over all transportation, everything around us. Uh, that father in this season we refuse for deaths oh god to be piling up in the name of jesus we cover the roads oh god in your mercy we declare your mercy oh god when people are driving they will arrive safely over aeroplanes cars lord whatever mode of transportation we declare divine safety in this season in the mighty name of the lord jesus father we thank you oh god and we ask that you sensitize all your children father everywhere your children go lord cause us all to be sensitive in the spirit. Nobody will be distracted in the name of Jesus. When children are going to school, parents will be sensitive in the spirit. Whatever is going on around us, Father God, we pray in Jesus' name. Lord, give people dreams, give revelation, give wisdom, give insight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I'd like to read for us Job 38, 12 to 15. I'm reading the complete Jewish Bible. The Bible says, have you ever in your life called up the dawn and made the morning know its place so that it could take hold of the urges of the earth and shake the wicked out of it? Then the earth is changed like clay under a seal until its colors are fixed like those of a garment. But from the wicked, the light is withheld and the arm raised to strike is broken. I really like this translation. And you know, when, when I was reading it, you're, you're taking hold of the day and shaking the wickedness of the wicked out. But also as you do that, the earth is forced to change until its colors are fixed. God ordained for our day to be fixed with beautiful colors. But you know, while men slept, the enemy came in and was sowing tears. And sometimes it diminishes the brightness of the colors. Sometimes it diminishes the goodness. But as we are declaring and commanding our morning, we are changing the earth so that its beautiful colors are fixed and the enemy has no say. And then it says the light is withheld from the wicked. In other words, they can't even be 
begin to see what they're doing. And the arm that is raised to strike, wherever they raise their arm to strike, whether they are striking your finances, your health, your children, whoever, they have failed already because it's saying as they raise that, that arm, that arm is broken. Obviously, they cannot strike if the arm is broken. Child of God, begin to command your morning this morning. Begin to speak in the name of Jesus and say, Father, you are Elohim and El Elyon. And in your power, in your grace, I command my morning. I call the dawn up and I cause the morning to know its place. Morning, your place is in Christ. Your place is in God. Your place is to, is to hear the instructions from Almighty God. Morning, your place is to know what God is saying about us this morning. What God is saying about our marriages, our children, our children's children, our businesses, our finances. Your place is to know what the word of God is saying for us, not what the enemy is saying. Whatever the enemy has said, we deprogram it. But we program what the Lord has said this morning. God is speaking life and life in abundance. We speak it into our day. God is speaking deliverance, healing, transformation, lifting, promotion. We speak it into our lives today. In the name of Jesus, uh, we take hold of the edges of the earth uh, and we shake the wickedness of the wicked out of it. We shake the wicked out of our day. Lord, wherever we go, because the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord uh, and we delight in all our ways. Father, you delight in all our ways. Uh, we shake the wicked out of our path. Wherever we are going today, we will not encounter the wicked. Wherever we are going today, we will not be overwhelmed by the wicked. Where we go, Lord, uh, we meet the children of God uh, and your righteousness and your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we shake the evil assignments and agendas uh, out of our day. In the name of Jesus, uh, Father, we declare that the earth is changed this morning uh, and its colors uh, are beautified for our sake. Uh, wherever we go, whatever we do, it is a success. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate this day. It's a, it's a great day. It's a day of blessing. To you be the glory, almighty Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare light is withheld from the evil ones. They cannot even see what they are doing. They are confused and confounded and their uplifted arm is broken. They cannot strike anybody here. Nobody can be stricken by the hands of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, I hide all of us under the, 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 the shadow of the cross of Calvary. We are hidden in Christ Jesus and we are not accessible to the evil ones. Uh, Father, we remember your word in Psalm 91. Uh, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I declare, Lord, uh, every family represented here, the church of God represented here, we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. We abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We collectively say, our God, you are our refuge, you are fortress, you are our God, in you we trust. Uh, we believe it. Surely today you have delivered us from the snare of the fowlers and the noisome pestilence. Their traps cannot catch any one of us or any of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you have covered us, Lord, with your feathers. Uh, we trust you, Lord. You are our shield and buckler. Lord, we will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, because they cannot touch any of us. Uh, we are not afraid of pestilences, uh, COVID-19, flu virus, uh, whatever it is. It cannot touch any one of us. Lord, we declare everyone here and the families we represent, the brides and the grooms who are about to get married. Uh, no COVID, no flu, no virus, no infection, nothing in the name of Jesus. Uh, no pestilence is allowed to touch any of us. Uh, no destruction. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, a thousand may fall at our side, 10,000 at our right hand. It will never come near us. Uh, only with our eyes uh, shall we behold and see the punishment of the wicked uh, because Lord we have made you our refuge and our habitation on this prayer line there shall no evil befall any of us no evil, no plague nothing can take away the joy of the people here in the name of Jesus uh, for Lord I believe it uh, that every family here has angels assigned to them and these angels are watching over all our ways uh, if there was about to be an accident uh, Lord we will be in front uh, or at the back uh, we will never be at the wrong place at the wrong time. But Lord, uh, we are walking under Kairos moments. Uh, we are in the right place at the right time with the right people doing the right thing. All our youth, uh, all our sons and daughters, uh, they are in the right place at the right time with the right people doing the right thing. Uh, doors are opening unto us because angels go ahead of us, go ahead of our children, opportunities for them. Doors will never be closed in their faces. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, we thank you for all the multifunctional angels uh, that are on assignment today. Uh, 
fire and carrying out your commands for every family in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you that we are treading on the lions and the adders, on the dragons, Lord, on the scorpions. They are under our feet. All the kingdom of darkness is under our feet. We declare it. We are overcomers. We are more than conquerors. We are victorious in Christ Jesus. Father, thank you, O God. With long life, you will satisfy us and show us your salvation. Lord, thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And Lord, we just pray concerning dreams. Have people had any dreams overnight that are not consistent with your will? we deprogram them. We uproot evil seeds planted in the dream realm. Father God, any any way they are trying to reenact evil covenants, trying to get people back tied to ancestral altars through dreams. Father, we cut off all evil by the sword of the spirit. Any food people are being fed in the dream, we purge it out by the blood of Jesus. Lord, sex in the dreams, we break evil covenants, we chase them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, any dreams people have forgotten even. Father God, that were sent to defile their spirit. We purge it out in the name of Jesus. Father God, we decree that Lord, any dream, anything that happened in the night that didn't come from your blessing, it is vetoed and nullified in the name of Jesus. Father, the dreams that you've given to us to give us revelation, wisdom, insight, oh Lord, understanding, we declare those dreams will continue to get clearer and clearer in the name of Jesus and we will be able to walk in that wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you, oh God, for your mercies that endure it forever. Thank you that a curse causeless will not land. And because we have pleaded the blood of Jesus, no curses can land on any of us and any of our children, children's children, spouse, family members in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen.